Professor Dave and Chegg here. Along with learning how to interpret NMR spectra, we must consider the concept of proton equivalence. How do we know when two different protons in a molecule are contributing to the same peak on the spectrum? What are some other possible relationships for two protons? Let's talk about this next. As we know, protons that are chemically equivalent will generate the same peak on an NMR spectrum, thus causing that peak to increase in integration. Usually it is quite easy to see how many sets of non-equivalent protons there are on a molecule, but sometimes it can be a little trickier. The way we can test whether two protons are chemically equivalent or not is to replace one of them with an X to generate one structure and the other with an X to generate a second structure, and then see what the relationship is between the two resulting molecules. There are a few possibilities here. First, if the two compounds are structural isomers, then the protons were chemically inequivalent. They did not see the same chemical environment, which is why different structural isomers are produced when the protons are replaced by another group. We can say that the protons are heterotopic. Now let's say that the two compounds are identical and are simply different conformations of one another. This would mean that the protons were homotopic. They will be chemically equivalent. Now let's say that the two compounds are not identical, but rather they are enantiomers of one another. By changing the two groups, we are generating a chiral center, and they have opposite stereochemistry. This means that the protons were enantiotopic. These will also be chemically equivalent. Now let's say that the two compounds, again, are not identical, because they are diastereomers of one another. Again, by changing the groups, a chiral center is being generated, and the two compounds have opposite stereochemistry at that center. But due to the presence of one or more other stereocenters, they will not be enantiomers, they will be diastereomers. This means the protons were diastereotopic. These will actually not be chemically equivalent because they do not experience the same chemical environment. Different protons will be de-shielded to different degrees by groups on other chiral centers. So now we understand the terms heterotopic, homotopic, enantiotopic, and diastereotopic, and can describe how these relationships between two protons affect their chemical shift. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.